Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to our Flourish Focus conversation. This is a series where we feature one-on-one -on -one exchanges with entrepreneurs from around the world. I'm Sarah Morgenstern, venture partner at Flourish Ventures. As an early stage global fintech venture capital firm, we partner with entrepreneurs building world-class companies that are disrupting legacy infrastructure and helping customers to achieve financial health. I am thrilled today to have with us Jules Muir, CEO of Vellum, an analytics and data management platform for the insurance industry. Jules, thank you so much for being here with us today. Really excited to dive in and discuss your journey as a founder, how the innovation landscape in insurance is evolving, and Vellum's market opportunity against that backdrop. Uh, so first of all, congratulations on closing your $7 million seed round. What a fantastic accomplishment, especially in today's market. And I want to talk more about the raise, but let's start with your story. You've had an impressive career wearing a variety of hats as a senior leader in insurance. Tell us about your background and some of the early learnings that sparked the idea for Vela. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. First, I uh, just want to thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you today. Um, in terms of my background, I've been in the insurance industry for close to 20 years, and I've sat in multiple seats along the way. I started my career as a reinsurance broker at Guy Carpenter, uh, working with a diverse mix of clients ranging from very specialized niche MGAs to large global carriers. After four years at Guy Carpenter, I went back to school, then I joined McKinsey's insurance practice. Uh, and it was there that I got a real sense for the challenges of innovating within the traditional walls of insurance, uh, ranging from legacy systems and in some cases, legacy mindsets, uh, which is part of the reason I was very excited to move over to an operator seat, uh, joining essentially a startup insurance carrier called Hamilton USA in 2015, uh, which led me to my most recent role before Vellum, which was as the COO of an insured tech MGA called Attune, uh, where we focused on small business insurance. Uh, and one of my primary responsibilities at Attune was helping secure our, our paper and reinsurance. Um, and it was each of these seats, uh, I got to see different pain points of the insurance industry that arise of, out of how data is transferred, or in many cases, not transferred in the industry, uh, which is very much largely on the backs of spreadsheets and manual processes. Um, and not only does that mean a lot of very valuable data dies in inboxes, uh, but the clunkiness with which data is transferred comes at a real cost to the insurance industry. Your passion to sort of take on the challenge of bringing tech innovation and data transparency to the insurance sector uh, was critical to what got us so excited about this space. Tell us about why you ultimately decided to found Vellum um, and how do you think about the addressable market opportunity? Sure, absolutely. So after Attune's acquisition in 2021, I started to think about the fundamental challenges facing the insurance and reinsurance industry. Um, and to just give you a sense of scale, the global reinsurance market had over 500 billion in premiums in 2022. Um, and as I looked at the industry, there were two moving pieces that were essentially compounding each other in terms of their impact. First, innovation started to become a scary word um, as underwriting profitability concerns uh, eroded people's confidence and excitement about the initial insure tech bets that were made. Um, and many insurance and reinsurance companies started to be reluctant to invest in innovation because they were burned um, as part of that insure tech wave one. The second dynamic, which um, was it's just the, the risk landscape itself is evolving rapidly with increasing rates of weather events, wildfires, and emerging technologies. And unfortunately, the only way for the insurance industry to get its arms around this new landscape is to innovate. And so then the question becomes, how do we make innovation less scary? And my fundamental belief is that facilitating transparency is going to be the key to unlocking this. Today, we have very archaic infrastructure that limits the speed, consistency, and depth of data that gets transferred from the front of the value chain to the back of the insurance value chain. And this leads to a, a rather reactive rather than proactive portfolio management uh, approach. Uh, so in founding Vellum, I wanted to provide a solution that revolutionizes how carriers and reinsurers interact, allowing them to cover the risks that we will all face in the future. And so my goal with Vellum is to make innovation less scary through transparency and deeper partnerships. 
And I truly believe that if we can harness the value of the data that flows from MGAs to insurance companies to reinsurance companies, that we'll be able to tackle the risks of tomorrow. Really interesting. What does it take to get customers on board with that vision for Vellum? So help us understand who your customers are in a little bit more depth and what specific pain points you're solving for them. Sure, absolutely. So today our customers are insurance companies who partner with MGAs and programs and reinsurers. Um, And these businesses aggregate risks across thousands of policies and often dozens of risk parties. Uh, The other thing that's common across these two customer segments is that they're both an arm's length from the risk that ultimately ends up on their balance sheet. And given the clunkiness of how data is transferred across these parties today, it can take nine or more months before carriers and reinsurers have visibility into the performance of their MGA and carrier clients. And so our technology helps companies have a more real-time understanding of the performance of their risk partners and more quickly identify when actual performance deviates from what was initially expected. And this data is very critical, right? So armed with this data, our clients then are more able to proactively manage their risk exposure and maximize their performance by having the right conversations at the right times with the right data in front of them with their MGA and carrier clients and also rebalance their own portfolios in a more real-time basis. That's very helpful additional context. Um, Say more about how Vellum's core solution works, both the data platform and the intelligence layer. And what has changed from a technology standpoint that's unlocking this opportunity now? Absolutely. So Vellum is a data analytics platform that connects MGAs, carriers, and reinsurers. And our platform leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to automatically ingest, validate, and aggregate data generated by MGAs and reinsurance transactions. And this data builds a very valuable data set that allows and presents a consistent and accurate view of the risk held by the reinsurer or the carrier. And then our platform adds an intelligence layer that facilitates real-time risk monitoring, actuarial and underwriting analytics, as well as financial reporting for reinsurers and carriers. And by providing this transparency and risk management, it also enables carriers and reinsurers to support more innovative solutions and cover new and emerging risks. It's very exciting to imagine what the insurance industry might look like if this were embraced at scale. Um, And so sort of taking a step back, let's talk about the broader arc of innovation in insurance. Where do you see the focus moving and what lessons potentially can be drawn from the fintech world? Um, If we look at the broad strokes, I think insure tech innovation is essentially happening in three phases. Uh, phase one, which kicked off in 2014, 2015, you know, the real focus was on an improved digital customer experience uh, through UI enhancements, trying to cut the broker out of the equation and go direct to the customer and helping facilitate price shopping. Uh, and then in 2021, as we discussed above, um, valuations of insurtech started to suffer uh, as they tried to rebalance from a growth first mindset to a profitability objective. And I think these phases mirror a lot of what we saw happen early in fintech. Uh, So then the question is, where do we go next? Uh, And if we use fintech as a guide, I think it's fair to assume that the next phase of insurtech will, one, yield more long-term sustainable value, and two, be much more focused on infrastructure that enables the industry to fundamentally improve both efficiency and profitability, rather than just being a, a digital wrapping around the same old legacy ways of working. Mm. Um, You touched on how the risk landscape is shifting in insurance. Say more about that and how Vellum's solution could help unlock innovation. Yeah, Uh, there's a few key trends that are happening in the insurance and reinsurance market today. So first, it's currently a very hard reinsurance market, which means that the pricing of reinsurance is high. That then impacts the margin for insurance companies and MGAs that rely heavily on reinsurance as that's a key cost of theirs. 
And this hard market is particularly pronounced where insurance and reinsurance companies are pulling back, uh, which is in areas that are impacted by severe weather events. And um, just to give a few examples of where we're seeing folks pull back, uh, we have farmers insurance joining 12 other companies and pulling out of Florida's homeowner business. We have all state and state farm pulling back from California uh, due to wildfire risk. And these dynamics then are leading to what referred to as a protection gap, right? Where people and businesses who want and need insurance are faced with far fewer options at a much higher price. Uh, this is a little scary to think about given how critical insurance and reinsurance are to rebuilding towns and cities post-catastrophe. And so to, to handle this change that's happening, that means we need new and innovative solutions to address this dynamic. But as we discussed before, we're also seeing insurance and reinsurance companies pull back from innovation. Uh, and this is where we come in, right? And so we think our platform enables greater transparency and therefore oversight by insurance and reinsurance companies who partner with innovative startups. Our clients can quickly see if the fundamental hypothesis is proving to be true and they can discern if growth is, is being driven by adverse selection or true value creation. Okay, appreciate some of those macro observations around how risk dynamics are evolving and, and how they might be addressed. Um, let's circle back to where we started, which is the $7 million seed fundraise that you just closed. What comes next and what are the, some, of, some of the things that you're personally most excited about in the year ahead? Sure, absolutely. So the, this investment allows us to expand the platform alongside with our carrier and reinsurance partners uh, and build out the team to support the growth Vellum has seen over the past 12 months. And I'm really excited to partner with our clients to ensure that the platform addresses their biggest pain points and helps them build long lasting relationships with their MGA and carrier clients. Well, thank you, Jules. This has been a delight uh, and a real treat to get to have an, an in-depth conversation with you about what you're building at Vellum. Um, also want to thank the broader audience for joining us today. For questions regarding today's conversation, Flourish Ventures, or our portfolio companies, please email us at events at flourishventures.com. And we look forward to seeing everyone next time. Thank you again, Jules, so much.